Dear students, today in the session we are going to discuss about the PYQ of heredity chapter and first let us discuss about the session MCQ. Let's see the first question from this chapter, heredity. Here is a question. Chromosomes carry hereditary information from parents to the next generation. Are thread-like structures located inside the nucleus of an animal cell? Always exist in pairs in human reproductive cells? Are involved in the process of cell division? Which is the correct statement or which are the correct statement you have to select from this. See the first one carry hereditary information from parents to the next generation. Yes, which carry which carry the information from parents to next generation. Are thread like structures located inside the nucleus of an animal cell? Yes, they appear as thread like structures. That is also correct. Always exist in pairs in human reproductive cells. What is meant by human reproductive cells? Human reproductive cells means gametes. That means sperm and ovum. Sperm in human male reproductive cell and ovum is the female reproductive cell. So what is it given? Always exist in human reproductive cells. Is it appear in pairs in human reproductive cells? No. We know that human gametes are haploid cells. What is meant by haploid cells? What is meant by haploid cells? Haploid means half chromosomes. Half number of chromosomes. Okay, haploid means half number of chromosomes. Human gametes are haploid cells. They have, they have only half number of chromosomes. That means chromosomes never appears as pairs. They are like single chromosome will be there for each pair. In a haploid cell only half number of chromosomes. That means single chromosome will be there. So what about this statement? This statement here, we can mark it as wrong, right? And the fourth statement, which are involved in the process of cell division, that is also correct. So, from this, which is the correct option, only option 3 is wrong and option 1, 2 and 4 are correct, right? So, which is the correct one here? C, right? Here, 1, 2 and 4 are correct and 3. The statement 3 is wrong statement. Let's see the next question. A cross made between two pea plants produces 50 percentage tall and another 50 percentage short plants. The gene combination of the parental pea plants must be. See here, offsprings are given. Offsprings are 50 percentage tall and another 50 percentage is dwarf. Short it is given. Now you have to you have to see the parental combination. See here, if it is capital T, small t. First option is capital T, small t, and capital T, small t. What will be the result here for this cross? Capital T, capital T. Then it will be capital T small t. Here it will be capital T small t and small t small t. So here you will be getting 3 tall right. 3 tall and 1 dwarf. So it won't be the parental combination. So first option is wrong. Now see the second one. Capital T capital T and capital T small t. Okay, the option B, when you check option B, what we will get? Capital T, capital T. T. Here we will get capital T, capital T and capital T, small t. So, here also we will get, here we will get all tall, right? Where the capital T represents the dominant allele. So, all these here we get all tall plants. So, what is the offspring combinations we got here in this question? What is it given? 
it is given that the offspring produces 50 percentage tall and 50 percentage short pea plants see the option c capital t small t and small t small t do this cross like this capital t small t and here capital t small t here small t small t and small t small t see this is tall and another half is short okay it is short or dwarf plants here if you see half this is 50 percentage tall and another 50 percentage is short so we will get the offspring 50 percentage short and another 50 percentage tall only when the parents are having this type of combination that means a heterozygous tall plant this is heterozygous tall plant capital t small t is called the heterozygous tall plant crossed with a homozygous dwarf plant we will get half tall plants and another half dwarf plants that means 50 percentage tall plants and another 50 percentage dwarf plants let's see the next question in an experiment to study the independent independent inheritance of two separate traits shape and color of seeds the ratio of the different combinations in f2 progeny would be here in this here it is given you have to see the main thing here the cross is done between see in consideration of two characters which are the two characters here mentioned that is shape and shape and color here two characters are taken two characters we have learned that if it is one character that is Uh, given in a cross that is called mono hybrid cross and if it is two character given that is called a di hybrid cross so we can confirm it is a di hybrid cross it is a di hybrid cross because two characters are given right so it is a di hybrid cross here shape and color two different characters are given so it is a di hybrid cross now see here the ratio of the different co combinations in f2 so we already know that what will be the ratio of f2 progeny in a di hybrid cross in a di hybrid cross it will be 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 is the ratio of f2 progeny so we already learned what is the ratio of mono hybrid cross mono hybrid cross ratio that is phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio and also we know that what is the phenotypic ratio of di hybrid cross that is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 any two characters if you take any two character here it is given shape and color any two character if it is taken in account of a cross that is that will be giving the cross ratio cross ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 that is considered as the di hybrid phenotypic ratio so here what is the correct answer option c is the correct answer that is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 because it is a di hybrid cross next question the statement that correctly describes the of a gene okay you have to select the correct statement that describes the characteristics of a gene in individuals of a given species a specific gene is located on a particular chromosome yes we know that in individuals of a given species the specific gene will be located on a particular chromosome and what is that that is correct one and a gene is not the information source for making proteins in the cell that is a wrong statement because genes are genes are the given information source for making proteins in the cell in higher class that means in 12th grade you will learn more about this how the protein is formed 
what is the code for a protein how a gene code for a protein all these all these things you are going to learn in detail so the gene yes a gene code for the information so this is a wrong statement now each chromosome has only one gene located along its sides each chromosome has only one gene no chromosomes have many genes located on it so that is also wrong all the inherited traits in human beings are not controlled by genes yes it is controlled by genes so that is also a wrong statement so which is the correct option here option a is the correct one option a what is it given in individuals of a given species a specific gene is located on a particular chromosome a specific gene is located on a particular chromosome that is the correct option let's see the next question see in this a cross between pea plant with white flowers that means small v small v and a pea plant with white flowers that is given capital v capital v resultant in f2 progeny in which ratio of violet flowers violet and white flowers that is capital v capital v is given for violet that means homozygous violet in which ratio is homozygous violet and homozygous white is there you have to find out in which ratio the uh, homozygous violet and the homozygous white is there in f2 progeny let's do the cross it's a pure mono hybrid cross right so let's do the cross here capital v capital v for violet and small v small v for white let's do the f1 see capital v small v capital v small v capital v small v capital v small v here we'll get all violet we'll get all violet f1 f1 progeny f1 progeny we will get all violet because violet is a dominant trait and in a heterozygous condition we know that only dominant character will express so it's all violet now let's do f2 progeny f2 see f1 into f1 is f2 right here we will get capital v small v that is f1 crossed with the capital v small v to selfing f2 will get after selfing so here we'll get capital v capital v then capital v small v capital v small v and here small v small v these are the progenies we'll get this is a pure monohybrid cross and we'll get the ratio three tall and one dwarf but in the question it is asked you have to find out you have to find out the f2 progeny that is pure violet in which ratio you have to find out pure violet that is homozygous violet and homozygous white that are coming in which ratio see here how many homozygous violet is there one homozygous violet so one is two one homozygous white is there so one is to one ratio homozygous violet and homozygous violet is coming in which ratio it is one is to one ratio so which is the correct option here option a that is one is to one is the correct option next question consider the following two statements the trait that express itself in f1 generation the trait that keeps on passing from one generation to another you have to find the one word for these two statement see the trait that express itself in f1 generation that is called a dominant trait that is called a dominant trait the trait that express itself in f1 generation is called a dominant trait and the trait that keeps on passing from one generation to another that is called a inherited trait the trait that keeps on passing from one generation to another is called a inherited trait so here which is the correct option option c dominant trait and inherited traits once again consider the following statement the trait
express itself in f1 generation f1 generation that is if in f1 generation we know that it is all heterozygous condition we will get right all heterozygous condition behalf of in like being like two different characters are present and two different alleles are present in that one character only expresses that is called the dominant trait and the character that keeps on passing from one generation to another is called inherited trait. So, the option is option C, dominant trait and inherited trait. Next question. In an experiment with the pea plants, a pure toll, okay, pure toll means capital T, capital T is crossed with a pure short plant that is small t, small t. The ratio of pure tall plant to pure short plant in F2 generation will be, you have to find their F2 generation. What is the cross ratio of F2 generation? See here, it is a pure monohybrid cross. Okay, no need to do the cross. In such conditions, monohybrid cross ratio, we already know. What is monohybrid cross ratio? Monohybrid cross ratio is 3 is to 1 ratio. In F2 generation, you will get three tall and one dwarf plants. That is the phenotypic ratio of monohybrid cross. Here it is a pure monohybrid cross. So the cross ratio is option B, 3 is to 1. 3 is to 1 is the monohybrid cross ratio. So it is a pure monohybrid cross. So the option is option B, 3 is to 1. Let's see the next question. Now see here assertion, in humans, if gene capital B is responsible for black eyes, okay, here it is given, capital B is responsible for black eyes and small responsible for brown eyes, small b is responsible for brown eyes, then the color of eyes in the progeny, color of eyes, which all the possible combinations we will get, it can be capital B, capital B, or capital B small b or small b small b. These are the possible combinations we will get. If it is capital B and small b are the two different alleles for the eye color. We will get these three combinations. And here it is given. Here in capital B and small b. Capital B small b and capital B here it is not included, capital B, capital B will be black. Okay, it is given, it is black only. So here, from this, what we can assume that this capital B, capital B, that means capital B is black color, is dominant over the brown color. So what is given in the assertion, the black color of the eye is a dominant trait. Black color is dominant trait. That's why in capital B, capital B is black color and also capital B, small b also black color because capital B is a dominant trait. Capital B or black color is a dominant trait. Thank you.